I'm Diane Dobson. I am the CEO of the Renton Chamber of Commerce, and these are your updates for the month of June. Our standing meetings this month, we have our education meeting on the 10th. We have our homeless task force meeting on the 14th. We have our legislative meeting on the 18th. We have our Maximize Your Membership training on the 18th, and we have our RANU nonprofit group on the 26th. You can find more information about those standing meetings on our website at GoRenton.com. Some of the other events that we have in June are the 13th, we have our Business Impact Northwest Drop-In Business Coaching. This is available to any member of the chamber or any business or anyone looking to start a business. Uh, they are there here on site at the Renton Chamber between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. On June 18th, we are doing what is called a body doubling session for task accountability. This will be held at Macadon's at 4 p.m. On June 20th, we have our after hours. This will be held on the rooftop at the Hampton Inn and is catered by the Red Tea Room. They will have their new gelato cart and this is a fan favorite. About 80 to 100 people generally attend this networking event. On June 21st, we have our blood drive and health fair at the Renton Chamber of Commerce. Sign up ahead to donate blood with Bloodworks Northwest and see about five different service providers in the health fair within the chamber. We have two ribbon cuttings this month. June 25th, we have our ribbon cutting for the Richard Group in the Renton Highlands. It is an all-state office. And on June 28th, in the downtown area, we have our ribbon cutting for Aristo Healthcare. This is a 16-bed inpatient health behavioral health transition facility, and we are looking forward to seeing you there to be a part of the community welcoming these new businesses into Renton. And some of the dates to look forward to coming up, mark your calendars ahead. Again, you can always find information on our website. July 9th, we're having a reception for all of the candidates for running for governor of the state of Washington. On July 27th, we have our Rent and Neat Top Shelf Experience. This is an experience where you will learn more and educate yourselves on the distilleries of Washington and local distilleries to the Pacific Northwest region. On August 21st, we have our new teacher's breakfast. This will be a carnival style held at the Renton Pavilion. If you are a resource or a service provider that can provide assistance to teachers and educators, this is the one you wanna sign up for. On September 30th, we have our Honoring Our Veterans Golf Tournament. If you are a veteran or a veteran operated business, please reach out for more details. On October 5th, we have our wine walk at the Renton Landing this year. And on November 2nd, we have Renton Neat, which is in downtown Renton at the Pavilion. This will be one of our final events for the year. Uh, good experience and fun opportunity to get out and celebrate with your community. What else is happening with the Renton Chamber? We are continuing to work with the Renton City Council or ask for support from the Renton City Council to reevaluate Initiative 2302, which is set to go into place July 1st. Businesses, you need to be aware of this initiative and how it impacts your businesses, whether it be the regulatory compliance or the um, raising of the minimum wage. Please reach out to the Renton Chamber to find out more information on this initiative and how it might impact your business. So please stay tuned for emails. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Chamber, to any of our staff here that should be able to help you. So wrapping up, uh, it's the beginning of summer and we have graduations upon us, the Renton School District, the Renton Technical College. They are sending the graduates off into the community. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at our events upcoming and enjoy your summer and hopefully we'll see you at Kulan or Henry Moses Aquatic Center.